that is me leaving the Dragon Hotel. I'm gonna head back through Montgomery. Bright and early, it's um, 6.30. I'm on the way today. The sun is trying to poke through the clouds. There's a nice breeze at the minute, but I think it's gonna warm up a bit. Different use for a phone box. All the leaflets on local trails and uh, places to visit and whatever else. Just taking a walk around Prestat in Montgomery. There's a little memorial garden. This, the garden. this garden on the site of the old pound was laid out in 1953 in memory of those who, from this town who gave their lives for their country. We will remember them. And there they are. Nice little seating area. Very nice. Right, a mile done, I'm back on the trail. And Montgomery Castle there, back in the background. I was ready for it today, I saw its tail dipping into the grass. I think I'll take the field route. Sorry Mr Farmer, but if you're not going to look after the footpath, <laughs> then I'm going to go through your field. Sort of remnants of the dike again here. Not as pronounced as it has been. But kind of evidence there, yeah. On a little road section here. And the hill ahead, I think we have to go over. I think that's kind of most of the climbing done for today. I think we go over that. And then there's a little climb up to the Beacon Hill Fort and then it's dropped down and level for the rest of the day. So two and a half miles to Beacon Ring and then it's all downhill and flat from there. So what we've done, we've done about six miles today. Whoa. Nice new gate. Nice and cool as we walk through the trees. Not much sun getting through here. It has just gone in actually, the sun. It's, um, a little bit overcast up there. A bit of a hit and, miss, hit and miss. Right, so I think this down here must be what's known as Offer's Pool. There doesn't seem to be a great deal of water in it for a pool. I've got a little bridge here I can hear some trickling water so we'll just go and uh, have a listen if I don't fall over it's not a great deal of water in the pool at the minute some decent views down over Welsh pool from here I've just come from that away, and now I'm going this way. That up ahead, then the bunch of trees is Beacon Hill Ring Fort, uh, the highest point on today's route. And from there, it's all downhill and flat. Rather obscuring view with a foam mast there. Um, the path seems to skirt around the outside of it. So I don't know if there's a route through it or not. There is a trig point inside there by the looks of it on the map. But uh, we'll wait till we get there and see um, whether we can go through or we have to go round. Decent views. Right, Beacon Ring Hill Fort. Hill Fort. There is a path that goes through, so I will probably take that to be honest, because the Offers Dyke path seems to go round it. 
according to that sign and according to my map. But I'm going to go through to the trig point. Why not while I'm here? First of all, though, I'm going to get my stamp and have a bite to eat. Oh, what's in the box? Looks like a geocache. Doesn't say there's a geocache here. so far. Well, we've got four more to get. Here we go then. Not very often you find a trig point in the middle of a wood, is it? In fact, that's, never, that's not something I've ever come across until now. Right, I wonder if I can just nip back out this way to my path because it's right close to the uh, to the path here. So I'll have a quick look. If I can't, then I'll to find another route. on the office dike path and that is why they send you round and not through the wood I imagine another reason they send you this way is probably because this is again offers dike I'm on the top of the dike itself so of course they're wanting you to walk as close to offers dike as possible with a little sign as we head away from it Not bad that is it? And Welsh Pool down there. Uh, you do have an option of going into Welsh Pool. Uh, it's a good place for accommodation and to restock. It looks fairly large, doesn't it? But I'm gonna my route goes this direction somewhere, so I kind of bypass it. Well the offers dike path goes this way somewhere, it bypasses it, but it is an option to go in should you wish. Well I am almost ready for one. There was once a crooked man who walked a crooked mile. He found a crooked sixpence upon a crooked stile. And I think it's fair to say it's a crooked stile, which has actually been turned into a bench, I think. And just dropping down here. The footpath actually goes through there, but I'm just going to walk through Buttington just in case there's a shop. I'd like a nice cold drink. Only uh, just gone half past ten. In church for you. Here's the Green Dragon, which is the pub and restaurant, and they do camping. It says that there's a sign at the bottom of there, overnight camping. So if I'd have continued across that field instead of going through Buttington, I'd have come out here anyway. So it wasn't a massive. Um, detour, and now I've got to try and get it across here and down this road over this bridge. So I'm down along the River Severn, 
Uh, I do go away for it in a minute and then back to it. And then I've got a decision to make when I get to Pool Key. I'll talk about that with you when I get there. So at Pool Key, the Offers Dyke path goes off to the right and along the River Severn. Now I'm in a Facebook group for the Offers Dyke path, as I am for several long distance walking groups. Um, and some of the locals posted in it a couple of weeks ago advising not to take that route down by the river because there are a herd of very angry hostile cows now cows generally don't bother me but if these are locals there was two of them actually speaking about it and they're advising that you follow this towpath all the way to Dysurf Bridge so I've decided but I am going to break away from the route for this afternoon. There's only six miles left, just over six miles by the time I get to um, Paul Key, there'll only be six miles left. So I'm going to do six miles along the canal path, opposed to six miles along the river. In terms of distance, the canal path is 0.2 miles less, so you're not really making much of a difference. And similarly in elevation, there is very little between them. So I'm going to stick on the canal path all the way to my accommodation tonight. All oh, right, I'm not going hissing at me. I think that's just answered it for me. I wasn't sure whether to risk the proper route or stay on the canal. But if I've got some baby geese, who knows what other wildlife I'm going to have along here. Right, this is where it's decision time. The Nuffers Dyke path goes off that way. Uh, I am going to stay on the canal path. And I'm going to hope there's a bench somewhere along it. Not too far away. As we pass by the old lock here. Paul Key Lock. But it's a few years since this has been operated. Keeper's cottage. Right, decision is made. I'm going to keep going along it. Mind your head, I'm five seven five eight, and I'm a bit close to that. Okay, it's only half past eleven. I've not seen any sign of any benches yet, but I've just seen this, there's a church here. Churches often have benches. So I'm just going to go and have a look. I'll just have 10 minutes if there is. If there's not, I'll carry on. Oh, excellent. Caution, this bench swings as well. I've only gone and bagged myself a swing bench. So the second lock along the towpath, Crowther Hall lock. Cabin lock. Number four. I can't see a name plaque for this one just yet. Now I might have to pop that on the screen, I'm sure I can find it out. No name plaque for this one. Oh, there we are, bank lock. Bridge 109. Look at the water coming out through the bricks. Lots and lots of damselflies along the river here. Oh, it's gone. I was just going to show you a red one that has flown off his leaf. I mean, obviously I can't compare this to the actual Offers Dyke section here, which goes along the seven, because I'm not doing it and I've not done it. But yeah, it's just done a little bit of walk. I wonder what 
what that was once for. This looks like a way to uh, let water off the canal, but I don't know what that was. Uh, six and a half miles ish left. Uh, I'm going to make this suspension have a sandwich, I think. It is um, quarter to one, so it's an ideal time to have a nibble. more offspring. Three signets. Oh, four. There's one back here. So this must be lot number five, is it? I've lost count. <laughs> I'm gonna go back up for this one. All the others have dropped down. This one goes back up. Uh, this is Burgadin Bottom. Nice big size lock, that one. Good passing place, I think. What I will just say, oh, there's another one here, about this uh, section of the walk that I'm doing today. Uh, as it's not on the uh, official route off the bike path, is that this path does not actually show on OS maps as a path. Um, I, as I said, found out about this on Facebook, about the locals advising that you go this way round and that the path has been finished. And is open from the full stretch for us to use. So, uh, yeah, very handy. I'm impressed with it. I'm glad I did the detour, as I say, I don't know what I've missed, go missed out on going the other way. Not going the other way, should I say. This is spot on. There was a little tricky section there to find the path as I came out the other side of the road and crossed the road. I came down to this uh, opening in the field entrance there on the uh, in the centre of the screen. But it's not actually there. I had to backtrack and go round the back of that house, basically down their drive. And then you come out and you're back on it. But not very clear to find the way. It's not very clearly marked, but then as I say, on OS maps it's not marked as a footpath, but it is open as one. Come on in. It's afternoon now, isn't it? <laughs> Bridge number 99 by my calculations is Dysurf Bridge and this is where I should join back up with Offers Dyke Path which incidentally for the next few miles follows this canal there we go so I think I call that a success Okay, I don't know what I missed out on down by the river, but I thought that was a really nice walk along this canal, Montgomery Canal. Uh, it continues, so if you went down by the river, you're still going to get to see the canal anyway. So it doesn't make a lot of difference. I say mileage-wise, barely nothing. Terrain-wise, barely nothing. Thanks again. Been <laughs> Bloody hell. <laughs> It's been very green today, so it's nice to see a bit of colour. I was just about to say before I was rudely interrupted. So we've got the Montgomery Canal here, and we're currently stood on an aqueduct, which goes over the river. It's been an afternoon of locks and canals and bridges. I think this is the sixth we've seen now. I'll see if I can find the name of it. There we go. Oh God, how do I pronounce this? Karakhofer Bottom Lock.
and another one coming up. Well, if there's a bottom one, there's got to be a top one, right? Karakoffer top lock. Has a nice sheltered bench. Tempting, but I'm not. Uh, I'm not stopping now. Plenty my neck. That's how I pronounce it. Right, I'm in the beer garden, the Bradford Arms. Um, good point, actually. I just had an interesting chat with the landlord. Where we are is right on the border. And in the village, this pub, the Bradford Arms, is in England. The Dolphin, I think it's just called the Dolphin, it's just round the corner, I passed it on my way, actually, is in Wales. So... They've been very fortunate at this pub that they've been able to be open quite a lot longer than the Dolphin has due to Covid. Uh, the different opening times between England and Wales. So even though the pubs are 300 yards from each other, very different rules, which has been, it, it's just, it's bizarre, isn't it? But it's uh, very good, the landlord here is very good. They do serve food here, but he has just told me if I want to go and grab a pizza, I'm welcome to come and sit in the beer garden and eat that here and have another beer, which I'll probably do because I quite fancy a pizza. So um, I'm going to nip to the shop in a second. It's five o'clock now, I'm just finishing that. I'm going to nip to the shop, probably get a pizza and then bring it here and have a couple more beers. I just realised the uh, day was cracking on a bit and I've not shown you the room. Um, excuse the mess. I don't know why my coat's over my feet. I'll make it smell. So, yeah. Uh, standard kind of room, really. Uh, the decor's a little bit dated with the um, cream and red. But it is what it is. The bed feels comfy. It's a nice rest. I'm ready to face the day tomorrow. See you then. <laughs>